Hey YouTube modeling community, welcome back to the channel. Well, this is going to be a shop card shout out and a mail call. The uh, mail lady just stopped by with a couple packages. One was for me and uh, left some mail in my mailbox. So let's get to the shop card shout out. So I had contacted him and, and said, hey, uh, let's do a shop card shout out swap. So I sent mine out, and he sent one to me. So I've been waiting on this for about a week. And uh, Don's Garage. Fat man from Alabama. Did I do that right, Don? Probably not, but oh well. And uh, I got this one in the mail today. Been waiting on it. Thank you, Don. I appreciate it very much. Thanks for the kind words on the back. And uh, ironically, I was just watching one of Don's videos when the mailman excuse me, male lady arrived at my door. So thanks again, Don. Keep up the good work. Guys, link will be down in the description. So, got a package. Got to show you this. It's from our friend Jimmy Ledford down in Chickamauga, Georgia. And uh, I'm not sure what's in it. I haven't opened it yet, but I did uh, sever the tape on there because I have a policy of not trying to cut a box open on on camera just in case I lob off a phalange so let's open this thing up and see what we got well, I see a tire oh nice tread it too <clears throat> little note I'll put this off to the side well I see chrome trees and I see a lot of tires let's check this out grab this one Ooh, these are cool I don't know what they're off of they're pretty cool They'd be pretty cool for a pro touring car Ooh. center lines fats and skinnies Nice. They will come in handy. Whoa. Holy Moses. Oh, check that out. What is that? Oh. Ooh, I see something I've been looking for. Oh, I don't know if you guys know what this is, but this is something that I've been looking for for quite a while. These wheels right here are off the Foos Cornet. And, uh, I had used the wheels and tires out of that kit for the 60 Starliner I built, which you can see on one episode of Way Back Wednesday. And uh, I've been looking for another set for quite some time. So those will come in handy. Yeah. I don't know why I dig them so much, but I really like them. Here's another one. Tires. Nice. Very nice. So there's three of them. There's number four. Awesome, Jimmy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now, guys, I was kind of only expecting these because we had discussed these on the phone, but I didn't know he was going to send all this stuff. And this here... This is a Boss 429. Nice. Very nice. I can do something with this. I like those carbs, man. Some of those old Pro Stock kits and stuff had some really great carburetors on them. And I was telling Jimmy on the phone the other day that um, I made a really bad mistake one time, guys. I had so many built-ups. And I'd gotten out of the hobby and um, they were just laying around and everything. They were on shelves and I was cleaning up and I just decided one day to start dumping them in the trash. For real. I'm not kidding. 50 to 75 model built ups. Um, and my wife just looked at me. She's like, are you sure about that? And I'm like, yeah, I'm over it. You know, I'm, I'm not going to build any more model cars. And... Um, these are just taking up space and collecting dust and, 
you know, they're just a source of, you know, thorn in my side pretty much because I got to keep dusting them and everything. So I just, I just decided to, to trash can them. Now, some of them I pulled parts off of and all that other stuff, but a lot of them just ended up right in the damn trash can. And I'm going to tell you guys, uh, man, the last few years, I've come to regret that so much. Because there were kits in there that were um, highly sought after, collectible kits. And um, several of them that you can no longer get. So, these are some treaded fire stones. They're pretty sweet. So, yeah, I, I've come to regret that very much. So... Do not trash can your old builds. If you're not going to rebuild them, part them out, do whatever, keep them, keep them as intact as you possibly can because you don't know one day what's going to happen. And like I said, I, I threw away, I mean, just straight up threw away almost 100 model kits. I mean, when you consider the fact that I've given away about 100 NASCAR kits over the past six seven years and then those that weren't nascar kits yeah i'm probably insane you know Pro probably out of my mind somewhere but yeah don't uh don't go trashing stuff now if i'm taking them off the shelf and i'm no longer going to display them they get put in a box and um you know they get retired to a box until one day i'll get the itch to either restore them or use them for parts Look at this bounty of stuff. It's pretty awesome. It, it's kind of funny because I was telling Jimmy that uh, I, I had been looking for a bag of my pro stock and pro street stuff. Because I had, you know, like the Bob Glidden uh, pro stock and I had the uh, LAPD pro stock and, you know, just, I had all the pro stock Camaros and Firebirds and um, I ended up shit can in every one of them and uh, I pulled the wheels and tires off them and the engines at them and everything and I, I can't find the bags of, of uh, wheels and tires that I had for them so these will all make good additions to the uh, parts boxes and I'm sure I will get around to using every single one of these someday alright guys Don thank you for the shop card Jimmy thank you for the wonderful bounty I appreciate it very much brother if you need anything, you let me know. And uh, guys, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching.